Hey everybody, thanks again for listening to Unmetered, brought to you by Middle Tennessee Electric. Middle Tennessee Electric is a member-owned, not-for-profit electric cooperative that's been serving its members since 1936. So if you receive a bill from Middle Tennessee Electric, just know that you're not just a customer, you're a member, and membership has its benefits. This week we've got a story for you called Sir Robert and the Knights of the Round Screen. But before we get to that, just a quick, just a couple quick tips for you uh, to be aware of in the event that you do experience an outage uh, during spring storm season. The first of which is going to be that you need to make sure that your fridge and freezer stay closed during an outage because while typically Middle Tennessee Electric restores outages uh, in a short amount of time, if there is an extended outage, you're going to want to make sure that those perishable food items are kept cold and kept from expiring. So again, make sure you keep your freezer, your refrigerator shut. Uh, if you need water, typically uh, just go to the water, the water faucet and drink from there instead of opening that freezer uh, or that refrigerator and getting cold water out. Um, again, it's just a safety thing for your food. The other thing would be to turn off any appliances that you were using. So if you were using, say, a blender or dishwasher or uh, anything else of that nature, you're going to want to go ahead and shut those off so when the power does come back on, you don't overload your system and trip a breaker um, or damage the appliance itself. So again, make sure that when if you do experience an outage and you've got appliances running, go ahead, just shut them off, and when the power comes back on, uh, maybe leave a light on so that way you'll know that, that everything is back up and running properly. Uh, or if you're on the MyMTMC app, you'll get a little notification inside of that app. And of course, if you need to report an outage, be sure to do so by going to MyMTMC uh, and downloading our app, or you can give us a call at 877-777-9111. Uh, of course, we are excited about today's story. And with that, let's talk about Sir Robert and the Knights of the Round Screen. Tennessee weather is best described as unpredictable. You could be wearing a pair of shorts for breakfast and then need a parka by the afternoon. The weather changes more in one week than a kid changing crayons for his favorite coloring book. But when it changes from sunny and a high of 72 to severe thunderstorms in a matter of hours, where do you go to to find out what's going on? No matter where you go for the answer, there's one common thread, Sir Robert Watson Watt. Sir Robert isn't a traditional knight like you re read about in storybooks. He's not the kind of knight that slayed dragons or saved damsels in distress with a sword and a shield. In fact, Sir Robert influenced the outcome of real battles without ever stepping foot on the battlefield. When he was born in April, on April 8, 13th in 1892, in Scotland, his parents had no idea that he would be knighted 40 years later or would be awarded the U.S. Medal for Merit in 1946. The son of a carpenter and a cabinet maker, Sir Robert graduated in 1912 from the University of Dundee with a degree in engineering. He decided to take an assistantship with the university upon graduation and studied wireless telegraphy, now commonly called radio. In 1916, two years after World War I had broke out, he decided to change jobs, a decision that would lead him to his greatest achievement. He wanted to use his knowledge of radio waves in the British War Office to develop communication technology, but there were no jobs available for him, so he was recruited by the Meteorological Office where he began to develop technology to prevent aircraft pilots from flying into lightning storms. Since lightning storms emitted radio waves that can be detected, he began researching how to detect those radio waves to predict their location for pilots to avoid. This research led to the invention of the Huff Duff. That's right, it's a real thing, you can look it up. A device that predicts the location of objects based on their radio frequency. The military realized the importance of tracking radio wave frequencies and the Huff Duff became an important tool to find German U-boats in the English Channel. In fact, it's estimated that in in almost a quarter of the U-boat attacks, uh, the British uh, military actually used the Huff Duff to prevent uh, those U-boats from sinking civilian or military ships. In 1933, rumors began to swirl about a death ray the Germans were, were developing that used radio waves. Sir Robert was called upon to debunk that rumor and in doing so was able to research how to de detect incoming German bombers. 
In February 1935, Sir Robert demonstrated the first radar, or radio detection and ranging system, using the British Broadcasting Corporation's shortwave transmitters by bouncing radio waves off of an airplane. The radar system became a top secret military program and was implemented in 1938 under the code name of Chain Home. The invention gave the British Royal Air Force vital information to intercept and fight off German bombers as they crossed the channel during World War II. During World War II, radar operators saw echoes on their screen caused by different types of weather. After the war, American meteorologist David Atlas and his team took radar technology and developed the first weather radar. Now, Atlas and his team determined that different types of precipitation created different types of radio and electromagnetic waves, which could be tracked by radar. While David Atlas is considered the pioneer of modern day weather radar technology, many men were instrumental in building the foundation of radar as we know it today. In fact, in 1842, Christian Andreas Doppler made the first observation of how light and sound waves are affected by motion. His observation today is now known as the Doppler effect. Heinrich Hertz discovered radio waves and James Clerk Maxwell discovered electromagnetic fields, which combined with Sir Robert's radar technology gave birth to the modern, modern day weather radar, which Middle Tennessee Electric and the National Weather Service relies on for weather predictions. Today, there are many types of radars, including Doppler radar, there's weather radars, which are a type of, of Doppler radar, and it uses pulses to determine the speed and direction of meteorological events. The radio waves are reflected back and deciphered to give us the information we need to decide if we need to grab an umbrella or a pair of sunglasses before running out the door. And that's the unmetered story of how Sir Robert Watson Watt created the first radar system, the foundation upon which Doppler radar was built and one of the tools at Middle Tennessee Electric that we use every single day. So the next time a storm front rolls through and you experience an outage, whether related or not, be sure to give Middle Tennessee Electric a, a holler. You know, of course, uh, you can do that by calling us at 877-777-9111. You can also do that by downloading our mobile app, which is called MyMTMC. Uh, you can check it out in iTunes or Google Play. Download that app and you'll see a button on the left-hand side that says outage, uh, report an outage. You click on that and you can leave us comments, any notes that you think is val valuable to us and send that over to us. So again, we just want to thank you guys for listening. Uh, of course, you can subscribe to other uh, our other Unmetered podcasts, uh, which you can find in Google Play and iTunes as well. Uh, you can also subscribe on YouTube and we also post on Facebook. If you've got any questions, be sure to reach out to us at 877-777-9020. You can also shoot us a message on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, uh, or on YouTube, or you can send us uh, more information through our uh, website at mtmc.com. Just click on contact us. Thanks again for listening and we look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.